All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of my Nuzlocke challenge after I have already beaten Old Blue. As you've seen before in the last pre in the previous video, um, I got Sven all cut up with Steven Ren and Randall. So now I have to get Steven, Randall, and Sven all caught up with Polly, Winona, and Evelyn. So, and we're going to continue my level grinding here. And we'll go from there. Oh dear. Alright. Alright, here we go. Another fire breather. Oh, it's charking. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a coffin, so that's a good way to start out. Start out with Sven. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Sven doesn't really know all that many moves, but, uh, eh, we'll get there. I'm not Sven, I'm mean, sorry, Steven. Ugh. Why did I even... Oh, holy... Critical damage on that coughing. Ugh, I don't know if it's the coffee wearing off or it's just not enough coffee. <laughs> oh, well. Um, oh, critical damage. You douchebag. You little douche. Alright, time for max potion. Oh, boy. Yeah, after I beat old Brock, well, I'm going to, um, let's call it, um, go and take on Misty. Okay, will you stop getting a critical damage, you deuce? Okay, you know what? Another max potion. This little piece of garbage is getting a lot of critical hits with that tackle. Although, Steven's not really doing all that much. But, oh, I don't even care. Uh, as long as Steven destroys his darn coughing and doesn't die. Well, it's a good thing I have a limited supply of max potions. It's a good thing. Ha! Ah, boy. Oops, not you. You. Alright, finally got him in the yellow. After, what, a million years? <laughs> Already? Oh. But yeah, that tackle oof, has a lot of power points for it, so it might take forever just to destroy this darned coffin. Of course, I got a good feeling that this charking will speed up a little. Got a mag B or a magmar. But whichever one it is, it's... Probably going to be a pain in the rear. Critical damage, you deuce. Alright, with that, I'm going to do um, a max potion. Oh, and Steven finally got a critical hit. Again. Ah, oh, dang, another critical hit. Another? Wow, Steven's getting pretty lucky. Okay, I think this is probably going to finish off the coffin, yep. And that's going to level up Steven. Good. Excellent. Oh, he learned Constrict. Oh. Ah, oh, Slugma. 
That's a fire type. Okay, um... Well, it's a good thing Steven's already leveled up, so... Okay, we're gonna send out Randall. Bliss Slugma. Because Randall has, hit, has quick attack, so... Good lord, you kidding me, Smog? Really? Oh, boy. And Randall, level 11. Sweet. Well. <laughs> well, it looks like the only one that needs to be leveled up now is Sabin. Oh, not you. Long time button. Whoop. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Time to head to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, and these Nuzlocke challenges, you definitely got to um, take your Pokemon to the Pokemon Center after a regular trainer battle. Without a doubt. If not, you're going to regret it, so. <laughs> but only for those uh, rookies like me. <laughs> no sort of challenges. <coughs> I mean, this is my, like, first ever Nuzlocke challenge, so. I need you guys to really wish, my, wish me luck and pray that I get through this whole thing without having any of my Pokemon die at all. Which would really suck. So I've had that happen before, like a couple of times. Once with a Butterfree, which was a real douchebag, and got a critical hit and straight killed one of my Pokemon. I had to reset. And, well, the first time was with a Beedrill, which got a critical hit. And the second time was with, Butterf was with Butterfree. So, yeah. That really ticked me off, though. I hated that. But, I got my revenge on both Butterfree and Beedrill. So, I'm happy with that now. <laughs> oh, come on! Really? A Jolteon? You had to pull out a Jolteon. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Ugh. Rod, I didn't see that coming. Dang, if I didn't see that coming. Ugh. I can already tell this junk job's gonna be quite the handful. Really? Tell whip? That's gonna suck. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> He's at minus two accuracy and still hitting with the darn tackle, you douche. That was a critical hit. But really didn't do all that much to Evelyn, thank goodness. Oh yeah, now he decides to miss. Well, what do you know? Well, he's already at negative four um, attack and negative three accuracy. So, I mean, I expected Jolteon to know an electric type move at level seven, but pff, guess not. But it's a good thing I. I pulled Sabin out just in case he had a an electric type move. Dang if that was a good thing. Ooh yikes. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> Dang, cause Evelyn's doing a whole lot of damage. Porygon? Are you kidding?
kidding? Well, whatever, I guess. All right, right back at it, Sabin. Okay, that boy got doing some pretty good damage to Finn, so we're gonna grow this little punk a little. Yikes, okay, that still hurts. That's probably all he knows anyways. His tackle. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Oh, ow. Okay, that hurt. Um, there you go, Finn. Sheesh. Whew. This Porygon's a handful. Oi. Okay, so the Porygon's already at negative two defense. And I think negative three um, attack, thanks to Sabin. Okay, yikes, that's still doing a handful of damage, but Sabin was able to handle the Oregon. Thank goodness. Whew. Oh, Charmander. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, that was perfect for Polly. Although she only knows Bubble, but still. Oh, I, uh, so I forgot. She also has hypnosis. I absolutely forgot. Yeah, Ember ain't gonna barely do anything to Polly. Sheesh. Wow, that only did three points of damage. Good lord. Are you kidding me? Well, he could at least have Scratch, too. But he's continuing to do Ember. Are you kidding me? Okay. This guy's an idiot. Constantly having Charmander use Ember on my water type Polly. I think he probably wants to burn Polly to a crisp. But she ain't gonna have that. And she's gonna just gonna destroy Charmander. It's a good thing I got Polly though. Cause she has a advantage against old Brock though. Yeah, it's good night to you too. Although it's daytime and he's an idiot, but eh, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, time to head up to Pokemon Center again. Sheesh. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end my video here of part two of my NASA challenge after I've already defeated Old Blue. And I'll see y'all in the next part. Peace out, y'all.